Mike here. I was just browsing some heliocentric globalist consensus science. And, and folks, all it is boils down to atheism. That's what this is. It's a religion. Uh, students film breathtaking curvature of Earth using high altitude weather balloon. Okay, so we have a bunch of students who supposedly have taken a weather balloon and filmed breathtaking curvature of the Earth. Now, the track record of these respected science publications, there's your curvature right there, uh, the track record, they, they lie. That's their track record. They lie about everything. And to make it worse, uh, people that post on our channels, they'll take this same information from these lying publications and accuse us of lying. Now, just to make sure I wasn't running into a misprint on one publication, I went to Science Explorer, and sure enough, same type of headline, Students Project Captures Images of Earth's Curvature. Let's see what NASA science, uh, heliocentric science, considers proof of images of Earth's curvature. And this will shock you people. This is, this is their evidence. Here we are. Uh, this is their film of their balloon launch. They're take and oh my gosh, look at that. What's wrong with the earth? That is earth's curvature. Now, science article told you what it was. This is what you're looking at, earth's curvature. So let's look again one more time. We, we don't want to misrepresent what they believe. Uh, breathtaking curvature earth using high altitude weather balloon. Okay, so that, that's what they're telling you, folks. This is how they prove Earth's curvature. To me, those people in Lancaster right there are probably their cars roll down the street, probably a lot of dead right now, because according to science, that is the curvature of the Earth. That, that's what you're looking at. Now, just being a simple flat earther who just makes observations like everybody else, I'm going to take a guess at this and say that the science articles are lying in that what we're really seeing is video from a GoPro curved or fisheye distortion lens and that we're not actually seeing curvature of the earth. I know that may sound crazy. I, I know that makes some of you globe earthers upset that I don't believe that that's earth's curvature. I understand. I understand the trauma you're going through, but it, it, like I said, we're, I'm just taking a guess, you know, and we're all entitled to our opinion. There's Dr. Jeffrey Norris standing on a holographic image of Mars. Now, Dr. Jeffrey Norris works at Jet Propulsion Labs, NASA. NASA has a hold of the Microsoft HoloLens technology for augmented virtual reality. Now, they have people fooled into believing that they need this virtual reality so they can control systems from various parts of the International Space Station. The truth of it is folks are using this technology to fake weightlessness on the ISS live feeds because some of the same glitches we see in the Microsoft HoloLens technology and the technology from telemetrics are the same type of glitches inherent to the virtual reality software that we see aboard live feeds on the ISS space station. Now you won't see Globe Earthers doing marches, getting irate and making videos demanding that these people stop lying and start telling the truth. No, as long as you dangle something curved in front of them, they are happy. Here we see Peggy's hand get deformed by the virtual reality software. Now Peggy's just a hologram and it would be really, really, really nice if just for once people with a high IQ like Wolfie, who is a very nice guy or Daz the cameraman, would actually look at some of our evidence and chime in. Now, you know, maybe they won't turn into flat earthers, but they are the types of people that I trust to do real research and examine what we're saying. For your reasoning, Sly Spokane and Red's rhetoric need not apply. They have no ability to be critical of their indoctrination that they have suffered through childhood. But I fully believe that we're going to gain traction and get some attention of people we can trust. Real quick, here we see Peggy's pinky finger get chopped off, made extremely short by the virtual reality software and her little finger next to it gets cut off at the top. And of course, the famous wire pull. Now, Globe Earthers fully believe that weightlessness is caused by hanging on a wire. They believe this. And uh, it doesn't make them upset. They don't get mad. They just buy this hook, line, and sinker that wires cause weightlessness. 
And my hope is that some of them start waking up and seeing what's going on and realize that we cannot orbit Earth. Because the actors are in a 3D virtual reality environment, here we see Peggy embed the microphone <laughs> into her hand. And uh, folks, this should make some of you upset. This should wake some of you up. Open your eyes. Here, Tim Peake, same thing, embeds the microphone in his hand. Why? Because the microphone's not actually there. It's on a separate video channel. Here we have a guy exercising on his wire. No, no, is, is that what he's doing? Oh yeah, he's getting lots of exercise just hanging there. That's how they exercise in space. Just by wire. That's what I'm told anyways. Or, or it could be a utility belt he's floating along with. Come on, folks. This is what we hear. And it's nonsense. Space is not real. We can't orbit Earth. This is Mike. Please like and subscribe.